Hello, this is Michael Bai. And I'm David Liu. And we're doing our music classification project using uh, fully connected layers and CNNs. So in our uh, CNN architecture, right, we loaded in our data set first. And our data set is the GTZAN data set, which contains a, a wide variety of music, about 1,000 tracks, each 30 seconds long, split among 10 different genres. And you can see the genres right here. So each genre will have 100 samples. Um, so for our CNN, we first load it in and then split it accordingly. We have it split so we have training and validation as well as testing data sets separately. And what this allows us to do is basically train on our training and validation data sets and then test it on our testing data, which will basically have samples that were not seen before to test our model's generalization capabilities. Our CNN is made up of two convolutional neural network layers followed by a pooling layer and then three fully connected layers in order to come up with a kind of like a softmax output. And our activation function is the ReLU function to, to kind of like create a non-linearity. And as you can see, our training model, we created, we used a batch gradient descent with 128 per batch and also the Atom model. And this is everything else. And you can see from our history that we have this currently running, currently training, and you can see that the training accuracy is improving, as well as the validation accuracy, and also the testing accuracy. But the reason why the testing accuracy might be not as large as the training accuracy could be due to things like overfitting, which is when our model becomes too good at our training accuracy and not good at generalization to uh, unseen, uh, unseen testing data. Yeah, so um, basically uh, the CNN is um, an improvement over our original fully connected perceptron that we created um, in the third part of the project. Um, so reviewing that, this, is our, this was our basic music classifier. Um, this is where we read in uh, numerical features rather than um, spectral images. And these are accessed in this CSV document here. So once we pre-process all this data, a very similar, as Michael mentioned, with the um, test splitting. Um, then we move into our actual neural network uh, where we have five fully connected layers and um, the improvements made were um, adding in batch normalization and dropouts. Um, and then as we go down, again, we have the train model function and this um, enables us to continue uh, through the data and here we plot it um, and then yeah and here's all our training again um, and so this gave us uh, a rough classification accuracy of um, approximately 91% um, and so yeah so that is our original music classifier and those are the two types of classifiers that we created for this project thank you